The western suburbs of Sydney are already experiencing the impact of climate change, according to a new report. The Federal Climate Change Commission says the west of the city is becoming hotter and drier than other parts of Sydney, but it predicts extreme heat waves, long bushfire seasons and rising sea levels for the whole state of New South Wales and other parts of Australia by the end of the century. Professor Tim Flannery is the Chief Commissioner of the Climate Commission. He says even though it's been a wet and cool summer in the east, the evidence of climate change is there. Um, look, the, this is a land of drought and flooding rain, of course, and we've just been through one of the longest and most intense droughts that Australia's ever seen. We're now in one of the wettest periods that, that the, the, the country's ever seen. And there are some indications that climate change is partly responsible for that. We've had unprecedented high sea surface temperatures off the coast. That means more evaporation, of course, and more rainfall. So the cycle will continue on into the future, as it always has in this country, but probably with more intensity than in the past. Can you quantify that? How many hot days we're going to see in a row and what sort of uh, intensity of bushfires and that rising sea level of course. Sure. Look, the, the projections vary around the country, and uh, they are they are projections. We've got to keep that in mind. They're not predictions. But we've already seen, for example, a 60% increase in very hot days. That's above 35 degrees in Western Sydney just over recent decades, and we've seen similar increases in other parts of the country. So that's ongoing. Um, we'll see, you know, the projections are there'll be very large increases in places like Darwin and Alice Springs. Now, there are still many voices out there who are climate change sceptics. And in fact, Stuart Franks, a climate scientist with the University of Newcastle, says your report tends towards scaremongering. Do you still feel that you're having to fight a battle all the time to win hearts and minds over climate change? Look, we're not trying to win hearts and minds. We're simply trying to provide the inf information that people need to make up their minds themselves. Now, some people have very closed minds on this and would never change no matter what. Uh, scientists certainly aren't like that. We keep on revising the projections, um, uh, looking at the new data and trying to give the best information and best account we can to the people of Australia about what may occur if we continue to let the planet warm. So what changes need to be made to prepare for the climate change that lies ahead? Oh, look, there are very many changes. You know, um, for example, sea level rise is just one example where we need to get local councils, state governments and the federal government working more closely to make sure that we minimise impacts of sea level rise by not building more infrastructure that's vulnerable, for example, uh, to changes in sea level. Um, you see it in the health sector. We, we've, uh, you know, the, the impacts of these heat waves on health are quite significant and we need to be prepared for those. Water security is another issue. We need to make sure that our towns and cities have adequate water supplies into the future. Tim Flannery, thank you. Thank you. Pleasure.